conversation? I'm still in the conversation. Okay, sister. You've been talking, rambling. I'm losing interest. That's fine, sister. Hamza, sister, you can lose interest if you like. It is disappointing that a woman who observes the hijab is here, number one, rejecting a hadith. It is disappointing that a man who says that they're a Muslim, you know, yes. and says that they listen to the hadith is using scientific research yes. to justify horniness. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So, so it's embarrassing, what's it? It's embarrassing that as men, we have a higher sex, sexual drive. And can you imagine we're blamed now? What you men, look, look. religion, that's aib alaykum. Sister, being horny is not aib. It's, it's, uh, that's what Allah said, you get married. I used to struggle reading the Quran daily before you instructed, instructed me to download this app. I never knew that this app would have such an impact on people's lives. You can go into the description box, click the link for iOS and Android and build your habit with the Quran right now. Read on equal things equally. Good, do you accept that? Good. So what I'm saying is there's studies that show this and we have Quran and the Sunnah that says that a man's biggest weakness is a woman. Biggest weakness, yeah? Now, I'm giving a scenario so we can understand. I am walking down the road with my wife at night time and a man in a balaclava comes out and pulls out a knife. Is my wife in a vulnerable situation? Yes. What does she require me to do? Protect her. To? Protect her. Protect her. If I run away, what would happen? She would be unprotected. She would call me a coward. You see, okay, let's stop there. I, I haven't finished my point. If I stop there, I haven't finished my point. Now, in her most vulnerable position, I have to do what? I have to be there for her. Do we all accept that? Does anybody have a contention about that? That when my wife is in a situation or be that for any woman, if I see a Muslim woman and there's a guy with a knife, yes, I would step up or any man should step up to defend her. Do we all agree? I agree. Good. So we agree that when a woman is in her most vulnerable place, that she requires a man who is stronger than her to defend her. Good. Now let's go to, one second, my comparison. Let's go to the bedroom now. Now in the bedroom, the man is in his most vulnerable situation when he needs his wife intimately. When a woman says no, she is as good as doing what I would do to my wife if I run away in a fight. No, okay. Do you accept that? No. Good. No. Now, no. you don't accept, no, 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 you accept no, 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 it? I'm sorry. You don't accept it? No, no, keep going. No, no, sorry? No, no. Keep going. I don't accept it. We'll keep going. Let's talk about it. No, 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 no. One second. One second. No, one second. What point do you not accept? No. The fact that she's left in a vulnerable state, could harm, her life could be harmed. Yes. Whereas a woman refusing sex to a man is yes. not. I, no, 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 irrelevant. The point is this. No, 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 if you are in danger, your friend is in danger and you need them, okay. right? It, I'd rather, I'd rather both, I'd rather me and him die than him run away and leave me. Wallah. But say that again, say that again, say that again. I'd rather both of us die in danger, yes. right? Rather then, than he leave. Okay, then he's running away. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's that deep for you. In bed, we're in bed. Bed is different, you know? You're, you're horny, you can control your horniness. Whoa, whoa, are you speaking on my behalf? Uh, and behalf of all the men? You can't control you. All of you, all of you. I can. I can control my whole No problem. Let's. Okay. No problem. No problem. Can I, can I make a point? Let's talk. No, no. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, so you made let's two talk. comparisons, right? One of the com one of the scenarios, the woman is spiritually sanctioned. If the man runs away as a coward, he's not yeah. being spiritually sanctioned. And I think that was your point, was it not? So why is it a case that in one situation there's a sanction and in the other situation there's a, there isn't? So in a that? societal context, maybe so the man will be called a coward. But spiritually, he's not being encroached in any way, shape, or form. One second. Is he is putting his life on the line. Yes. He's about to die for his wife. One second. My point is, if he doesn't do that, Ali, Ali, Dawa. If he if he doesn't protect his wife in that moment, yeah. will he be sanctioned? <laughs> will he be sanctioned? Yeah, will he be spiritually sanctioned? Of course, he'd be called a coward. No, would he be spiritually? Would God be sanctioning him? Well, Allah says in the Quran that men are the maintainers and protectors. Is there, he is, is there, he is, is there, he's sinful. He's sinful. He's sinful. But is he cursed? He's, he's sinful. No, sister, woman, sister. It's embarrassing from a, a human to a yeah, human. Sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they do not believe the eye of Allah. Guys, guys, we can't do that. Well, life, we do that. You didn't, you didn't refuse that. You know, okay, am I speaking? Who am I speaking to? Choose. Your choice. Can I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Who do I speak to? Whoever you like. Whoever you like. Okay, can I just. Can I just. Guys, please. The more we talk, the, the conversation. Please. Now. 
I'm telling you something, Aki. If a man doesn't protect and he doesn't provide, he is sinful because Allah tells him men are the maintainers and protectors of women. So my said, job is what? Of course, if I if I don't provide shopping for my house, I don't pay the rent. I am transgressing the rights of my wife. So if I'm getting I'm sinful and I'm with my wife, I run away. I'm sinning. You are because you know. You, you are sinful because you are the maintainer and protector. Now, okay, please, 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 I'm going to speak to you from now on. Nobody else get involved. Okay, sister, carry on. No, no, don't anyone speak, sister. I'm speaking to you. Please go talk. You made a point. I made a point, but it was ignored. What's your point, sister? The point is, yes. in Islam, it's about... You didn't have a good response to it. You didn't have a good response. No, no, no. Can... Yes. 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 I'm so sorry. But do you see what you're doing here? Let's, okay, you know what? No, 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 stop, no, no. Because no. you're gonna, you're doing this again, you're, you're leaving her point. You did this with me. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm addressing the point. Allah Ta'ala, we left the point, we left the point. Uh, the point was, the point was, all of you men, all of you men cannot control your horniness. No problem. That is a hype, because you can't control having sex. You should be pure, you should be pure in your Sister, 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 sister. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the biggest weakness for a man is not money, it's not a house, it's not a car. Are you speaking for all men? For every single man that walks this earth. Now, um, because we follow Islam, because we follow Islam, we follow what the Messenger of Allah said. So, therefore, and forget that, I can show you studies. Bro, I'm going to read you a study now. No, no, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Not Sheikh Google, it's called Sheikh Study. Yeah? Not Google, yeah? Google Scholar. D yeah, Google Scholar, no problem. You can call me milkshake if you like as well. Strawberry flavor, yeah? No problem. Now, let's read the study. Sister, 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 please listen. I'm going to read it, please listen carefully, yeah? Okay, let's put Quran Sunnah for a side for now. A sex drive. Please listen carefully, sisters, please. The sisters that belittle a man's sex drive, you can just control it. Let's listen. A sex drive refers to the strength of sexual motivation. Across many different studies and measures, men have been shown to have more frequent, I repeat again, more frequent and more intense sexual desires than women. Understood? Let me carry on. As reflected in spontaneous thoughts about sex, frequency and variety of sexual fantasies, desired frequency of intercourse, desired number of partners, masturbation, liking for various sexual practices, willingness to forgo sex, initiating verses, refusing sex, making sacrifices for sex and other measures. Listen carefully. No contrary. I'll repeat again. N-O, not K-N-O-W. N-O. No contrary. Look, 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 look. Do you see? He's just basically saying, Yanni, talk. No contrary findings indicating stronger sexual motivation among women were found. Now, I'm going to repeat that statement. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. No contrary findings indicating stronger sexual motivation among women were found. Hence, we conclude that the male sex drive is stronger than a female sex drive. Last sentence, last sentence, last sentence. The gender differences in sex drive. Oh, yeah, that's something else. Okay. Now, this is a kuffar, non Muslims, carrying out a study. Now, these two are special cases. No, 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 one second. No, one second. One second. We said that when it's, when it's, when it's a man and his wife is. Wallah. Okay, wallah, you're not doing sorry, sorry. Please no, allow me. Because no, you know why? Because I know, I know, but if I don't make these points, they're going to jump to that. Please, please. No, 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 no. Now, I've quoted a study, not Google. This is a study, I can give you the reference. Now, when a man is in danger, a woman is in danger, all the sisters go, he has to protect. She said, I'd rather die with him than him running away. Socially, one second, natural. one second. No, that's not. No, that's not. That is an aspect of a man to protect his wife. Now, 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 guys, 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 sister, 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 one second. Why is the double standards and why is this hypocrisy? 
Sister, sister, please. I'm talking to you, sister. Please listen. Why is it? And this is what really annoys me about some sisters, not all. When her life is in danger, he better be there protecting me. I don't care if he has an AK-47. I don't care if he has a pistol. I don't care if he has a knife. You have to defend me. Okay, I'll sacrifice my life and die for you. But when I come to you to bed for intimacy, you can say no to me. And when you say no to me and the angels curse me, come on, get out of here. Now, please tell me, sister, please review my points. Now, tell me why is my comparison and the studies I've given wrong? No one said this wrong. Nobody said they're wrong. Yeah, they could be right since you've got them a corpus collar or whatever you want. Okay, but that does not stop. That does not negate the idea or negate the point that horniness is a feeling that you can control. Yeah. Allah me. tells you That's to control true. it. Lower your gaze when you see a woman. Exactly. That's a job. Even if it's your own woman. You know, if you marry the woman and you're, you're using this hadith and you're like, okay, but it's in the Quran, you're just using your that. Wife? Seriously? Control yourself against yes, your wife. Why should a wife control themselves them against you? It's modern feminism. It's not modern it's feminism. It's a halak. Speaking, speaking. Brothers, please, please. Brothers, brothers. Brothers, did she listen to me when I spoke? Sorry. No, no, no. One second, one second. Brothers, did she listen to me when I spoke? Sorry. She did. She was quiet. Okay, then why are we not quiet when she's. I'm sorry. Listen to her, guys. She's making a point. Please listen. Well, it's not nice. She listened to me when I spoke. I know, but Aki, when you do that, the topic goes somewhere else. Okay, let's move Speak, on. Sister. No, 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 carry on. Where's, where's the argument? There you go. Where's, where's, you the, where's the rebuttal? Okay, the argument. Because yeah, I said my, my oh, argument you and I'm waiting. Just but tell you know, me you're let's finished. Continue. I'm supposed to know. Right, let's continue. Okay, okay, are you finished? Another thing, another thing is so if, a woman, if a woman yeah. takes off her hijab, she is also cursed by the angels from behind her. Walking within, she is cursed. I, I don't know the hadith. Can you mention to me? I don't remember recording that. If a woman takes off a hijab, yeah, her hijab. Then, yeah. no, no, I don't know about the hadith that takes off hijab. I talk about you know, there's a hadith about if she beautifies herself and fragrance and wears heels. That's a different one you're talking about. Yeah, and that's also haram. It doesn't say no hijab. No, no, please. But no, no, it takes. Can you, can you, can you tell? That's the hadith. Can you rebuke the point that I made? Sister? Let's stick to that. Re to remind me of a point. Remind okay. The point, oh, the point. The point. Okay. The point. The point. The point. The point, the point, the point was very clear. Yeah. Sister, sister, are you telling me? Sister, 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 sister. Men. Men do, yeah, he proved that. Men. That's it. That's all. It doesn't mean that women have to be sanctioned. Brothers, I'm going to have to move away. Wallah, I'm going to have to move away. No, Brothers, 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 we're doing it again. Brothers, brothers. Yeah, Aki, I beg you. Aki, please, man. The Aki, she's she's making is that Give it, Aki, please. I'm I beg you, Allah. Follow me. Allah bless you. I love you, but please allow me. Yeah. There's no doubt. Okay, now, now, now. One second. One second. Sister, sister, sister. If my wife, not my wife, a man's wife wants intimacy. Wallahi al I swear upon the Rabbul Kaaba. If a woman came here today and said, you know what? My, wife, my husband is not giving me sex. Wallahi, you guys will cause outrage. Everybody yes, you would. Do that. Oh, the thing, my then why is it when we what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? Check this out, check this out. When a man wants intimacy from his wife, he should be patient. When a woman wants intimacy from his husband, there's outrage. No, she should be patient as well. The man should be patient, the woman should be patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be why cool. why, You're why? Creating sister, 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 your sister. Your mind, we follow Islam. And in Islam, a woman came to the Prophet, no, peace be upon him. And he said to the Prophet, my husband doesn't sexually satisfy me. The Prophet gave, allowed her to have divorce. Her right is intimacy. You have no right to deny his intimacy. Now, you can choose to, if you want to say no, that's up to you. But guess what? She has a right to go and get divorced. If she goes to a scholar and says, my husband doesn't... Look, 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 according to the Sharia. Sister, we don't follow your opinion. We follow Islam and Sharia. Let me make that clear. If a woman goes to the Sheikh and says, my husband, look, look, not doesn't give me sex. He doesn't sexually satisfy me. Meaning, he does, but he doesn't satisfy me. She has a right to seek divorce. Not a single man here can tell her, oh, what kind of a woman are you? Shut up. She has a right for intimacy. He's not pleasing her. She has a right to divorce. What would the feminists do? Woo! Takbir! Come on, guys. Takbir! Allah Akbar! But when it's a man, shh, be patient. Control your desires. Hypocrisy. So, sister, once again, now let me ask you a question. In this scenario, let's go to the scenario of the angels cursing the woman. Who is here to blame? Check this out. As a Muslim man, guys, are we allowed to have girlfriends? No. Brothers, I'm talking to you. Hello? No, are we allowed to have girlfriends? No. no. Side chicks? No. no. Mistresses? No. Meaning what? We have to lower our gaze. So, it's not like the non-Muslim men who are like, you know what? I'm bored of my wife. Let me go and sleep around. We can't do that. So, when we're out and about, or for example, we desire a woman, a wife. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. Sister. Sister. Wallahi. 
I will Islam and you Islam is somewhere else. Let me tell that clearly. You know why? Because if a man is going home, can you imagine protecting himself, lowering his gaze, provides for her financially, works endless, and then little change such as that comes home and says, "Can we have intimacy?" And she goes, "No." Who is oppressing who? She is oppressing him. She's not, bro. She's a child. Okay, but you're doing a woman. Women cannot wear perfume. They shouldn't wear perfume. Me. Women shouldn't wear perfume. Sister, you're changing the topic. I was talking about perfume. Sister. Oh, I'm like, using that's that's not, not, Sister, so, I'm not talking about so perfume. So intimacy. You're so that's close minded. Not the conversation. Sister, I'm talking about intimacy. You're changing the topic. I'm I, I saying. Wasn't, okay, but the conversation intimacy. earlier wasn't intimacy. What is your problem with the angels? Angels cursing the woman that is abusing her husband by not giving him intimacy. How is that abuse? I don't want to have sex. I'm abusing you. What is abuse? Brothers, did you hear the study that I showed? That's what it is. Okay, one second. One second. Masturbate. I don't care. Masturbate then. Okay, good, good, good. Check this out. You know what she's saying? You know what she's saying? Go and violate Allah's laws, but I'm not going to give you what you oh, want. Let me tell you something. Oh, a woman oh, like that. Let me tell you something. Yeah, rub that Sister, masturbation is haram. You're saying to him, go and commit haram. Go commit. Look, look, check this out. Check this out, guys, guys. Look, look. Islamic man will sister. control. Sister, them sister, them sister, themselves. sister. Guys, are we all men? Yeah. One second, one second, one second, brother. One second, one second. Are we men? How hard is it for us to control our sexual desires? Not that hard. One second, let the men talk. Brother, brother, you're a different type of man. Yes, no, you must be if you're telling me no. No, I'm so sorry. If you're telling me you're not like that, then it's I'm so sorry. If you're saying that. Are you a Muslim? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, forgive me. I, I thought you was a regular. Forgive me. I take it back. I asked how I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I thought I thought you're an atheist making heckling. I apologize. On camera, I apologize to this brother and I ask him to forgive me. Let's check this out. A man provides, protects, he he works endless nights, pays the rent, electricity bill, looks after his family, etc. And he comes home and this is his wife and he just wants intimacy. And guess what? Does the hadith say, force yourself upon your wife? No, it doesn't. It just says if he's angry, the angels curse. And what's our sister saying? No, even if you provide, protect, this, that, and no sex. What kind of a planet are you living on? What kind of a planet are you living on? And this is the hypocrisy of feminism, the disease of feminism that's infiltrating our sisters, that this comes from a sister in hijab. Unbelievable. A woman, wallahi, let me tell you something. And I'll tell you, speak to my other sisters as well, yeah? You imagine you have a husband, you look after the kids, you make, you look after him, you're good to him, you're loyal to him and you do all of this and when you're on the road the man pulls out a knife he says, I don't have a right, I don't need to protect you how would you feel? how would you feel sisters, I'm asking you would you be happy, would you be happy sister? no you wouldn't, look these are our sisters, alhamdulillah at least haven't been affected by this yeah? but the point is this my dear sister, are you still there? my dear sister my listen, does anybody agree with what the sister is saying? look, let me give you an example yeah? and maybe you would understand yeah? my dear sister, my dear sister my dear sister, are you still in the conversation? I'm still in the conversation. Okay, I'm sister. Even talking, rambling. I'm losing. Uh, that's fine, sister. Hamza, right. sister, you can lose interest if you like. It is disappointing that a woman who observes the hijab is here, number one, rejecting a hadith. It is disappointing that a man who says that they're a Muslim, you know, yes. and says that they listen to the hadith, is using scientific research yes. to justify horniness. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So, so it's embarrassing. Once it's embarrassing that as men we have a higher sex sexual drive. And can you imagine we're blamed now? Religion, you men, look, look. Religion, that's aib alaykum. Sister, Sister, being horny is not aib. It's, it's, uh, that's what Allah said. You get married. Nowhere in Islam does. Sister, can you show me where in the Quran or the Hadith that it says to be horny is aib? Is, is a sin? It doesn't say that, but akhlaq. What are you talking about, sister? So okay, it's bad akhlaq. One second, it's bad akhlaq to be horny and want to have intimacy with your wife. Sister, what planet do you live on? What lie? I didn't say that. You're putting words into okay, my mouth. Clarify, the forceful, the, the, you know, the, the idea that they're obligated to give it to you, or the idea that not obligated, because the hadith would say force yourself upon her. Does the hadith say that? It says no. It says if the husband said, "Can we have intimacy?" She says no. He goes her sleep, upset. The angels curse her. You're not even. You know what she goes? The angels not even allowed to curse her. Get upset. Why is it upon the man to get upset? Okay, no problem. One second. I'm going to give you another, a same example. You're, you have a husband, he provides, protects, good to the kids, shopping, rent, everything he provides for you. You walk down the road, a man pulls a knife. He says, I am not obliged to protect you. Would you be upset? Would you be upset? Of course. You'd be look, upset. look, 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 look. Course, look at this. Of course. Okay, look, on, my, my dear sister, that husband of yours, or whoever, if you, I don't know, anyway, this man, he will move on with another woman. Wallahi I tell you, if your wife, 
let me tell you, no, Allah Yatin, sister, wallahi, look her, she goes, I would be upset if my husband, after doing all of that, being married to him for so long, look, 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 I'll be upset, but if a man is upset, no, 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 no. Wallahi, sister, wallahi, wallahi, do you guys agree with her? Wallahi al-Azim, all I'm gonna say is that, do you agree with what she said? Sorry, but if the wife has a valid reason, sister, not, if the wife has a valid reason, of course, not. sister. Thank you. Now, look, our sister, may Allah bless her, is reasoning. If a woman is heavily pregnant, if she's on a period, if she's been working all day looking after the kids, like even then, there can be a compromise, there can be understanding. Yeah, at least there is understanding because we're not seeing she's working, her, like she's looking after three kids, the man works, come home and help your wife. Cater for that. Make put the kids. No, no, it's not fine, sister. What you what she's saying, may Allah bless her. What you're saying are mountains apart. Why? Wallahi, what you're saying is against Islam. Wallahi, what you're saying is against Islam. Wallahi, Adim, what you're saying is against Islam. Because you're saying, you know why? Sister, 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 sister. That woman is abusing sexually her husband. If a man, let me tell you, and any feminist would agree. Is angry at her for saying no to sex. No, 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 not angry. Is that not, is that not, is that not abuse back? No, 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 sister, sister, back? sister. If a woman is sexually frustrated and her husband is saying to her, no, 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 I even, we might check, if this woman ended up falling into haram, yeah, the scholars might even maybe, maybe even blame the man and say, okay, what happened? My wife committed zina. She shouldn't. Okay, why? And the woman says, this man hasn't given me sex for two years. The scholars will turn to him and say, oh, what kind of a haiwan are you, an animal you are? You're an animal, hold on a second. Yani, this woman, she has a right to intimacy, yeah? And you have been saying no to her? A woman has a right to intimacy, but it's not No, 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 she doesn't. If a woman comes and he can reject her, and she has a right not to be angry, she should celebrate it, she should flowers in the air. Ooh, come on sister, what are you talking about? Please, I'm so sorry. And by the way, the reason why I'm so harsh, forgive me, is because this ideology is penetrating intellectually our sisters, yes, who are watching at home and getting this idea of, yeah, I can't, no, 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 wallahi, what is it, look, 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 and this is the issue, if, you're, if your husband went and got a second wife, you blame him, so why did you get a second wife, you give me no sex, no, no, sex. No, he doesn't need hassle permission, he does not need hassle permission, he does need hassle permission, from the haram to go out, Sister, well, like, why, why sister, submit to Islam, not feminism. You have not, sister. My dear sister, sister, you are you are drenched in feminism. You are drenched in feminism. And not only that, you contradicted yourself. And not only that, you contradicted yourself. Wallahi, sister, sister, just the way you said you'll be disappointed and upset with your husband if he doesn't defend you. You. Then why are you saying, why is he angry with me if I don't give him sex? So one second, one second, one second. The Prophet said, the Prophet Sallam said, the woman gets cursed. What's your problem? Do you have a problem with the message of Allah? The cursing part is sister, sister. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the woman gets cursed. You have a problem. At the end of the day, do you have a problem, sister, with that? I'm asking you. I do have a little bit of a problem with that. You have a problem with Allah and His Messenger. This is feminism. Sister, if sister, if the Prophet stood in front of you and said. My dear sister, shh, the Prophet came to you and said, no, 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 sister, sister, sister. If the Prophet came to you and said, my dear sister, if your husband wants intimacy and you don't give it, you are cursed. What would you say to him? Say that again? If the message of Allah was in front of you and he said these exact words, that if your husband who provides and loves and protects you and he wants, and he says, and he says that he wants intimacy, yes, it, it, no, it does, it means he's cursed. All night the angels curse her. Of course it does. Yes, it does. It does mean that. It does mean that. It's actually, it's actually a major sin. This, no, 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 no. Sorry, no. The, the scholars, the scholars, the scholars say any time the messenger mentions curse, it's a major sin. So, one second, one second. Sister, sister, brother, Aki, 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 please, let's, Aki, let's not show up our religion, please. Prophet didn't say she is cursed. She is cursed. The angels will curse her all night. That doesn't mean the Prophet said you are cursed. He's just saying what, what okay. is going to happen. Okay, is the angels cursing the woman? All night, yeah. Is that a curse? No, 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 that is, it's not the same thing. 
If you say you are cursed, okay. it's a totally different thing. Okay, I'm so sorry. I totally disagree with what I'm I said. I'm sorry, you're just adding something which is I'm, right. I'm so sorry, bro. I don't... I don't I'm don't. sorry. Anyways. I'm sorry. I, I totally disregard what you're saying because we have a clear hadith that says the woman will be cursed to, to the morning. Let's not shout with each other. I'm not shouting. Now, if the messenger of Allah said that to you... Yes, what would you reply to him? To, if he told me what the hadith is? If he said the woman will be cursed till the morning for rejecting his, uh, her husband, what would you say to him? Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Now what I'm saying is this. But why are you so upset about this? I'm not upset. It's a conversation. Okay, but what, no, no, but why are you so... What, what is the issue where you are... Look, let me tell you something. Okay, let me put it like this to you, yeah? I believe a woman who has been good to his hus her husband, very good, looks after kids, and walking down the road, and her husband runs away, Wallahi, I will not blame that woman if she said, May Allah curse you. Wallahi, I will not blame her. Wallahi, I will not blame her. Because you know why? She was at her most vulnerable. That man could have killed her. And Wallahi, you know what? If she said, I'm going to divorce him, I'll say, Sister, you know what? Wallahi, this man, this man is a coward. I believe it's everybody's duty to protect one another. If that's your friend, you're not going to run away, are you? No, no, it's your wife. He runs away from the... If it was your friend, you do the same Which thing. Which one's closer, friend or wife? It depends. It depends. Wife, on, come depends. on, come on, man. No, I'm come on, I'm a, my, 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 I have my friends. I have my brothers, yeah. But my wife, who shares my life with me, has has children with me. She's a part. Come on, she's my like. She, she, do you get what I'm trying to say? Come on. No, 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 no. If I did, wallahi, the entire Muslim community, her parents, my dad, my friends will all flip in with me. They're with me in public. They say, you are a coward for leaving your wife and running away like a coward. They will whip me. You know what I'll say? You know what I'll say to them? Sister. I won't cook for you. I won't practice deen with you. The, the Islamic community will rile against the woman. It's the same thing. No, no. What I'm saying is this. The point is this. The same thing would happen. Yeah? But you are, you, I just cannot believe the way you undermine a man's sexual urges. Just because, you know what it is? You know, you know what it is? It's like me saying, it's like me saying this. Sisters, why are you guys talking about your pregnancy? I need to just push it out, khalas. I need to push it out, you're making such a big deal. Wallahi al-Azim, the feminist community will come here and stone me next week. If I belittled, you know why? I don't know how it's to be pregnant. I don't know what it takes. Why do women come and say, like, they come and tell us how bad it is. It's as good as having 30 or 40 of your bones um, broken or something like that. Imagine me belittling that. You are belittling a man's sexual urge by saying, what's the big deal? Come on. I just using a woman. Who should I use, sister? Go and sleep with a, 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 a to other woman. You know, a wife can... La ilaha illallah. Wallahi, my temperature is hot. My temperature, I didn't take my jacket off. Do you know that? Wallahi, I'm hot. I, I, my temperature, my blood sugar levels have uh, gone up. I got blood pressure, bro. The overdependence of women, of men, on women in, in, in sister, some parts of Islam. But that's how we're created. I'm just going against this land. Why are you blaming me? I wasn't born with the sexual. I didn't say, hey, let me be. My dear sister, it's better now if we stop it now. More, okay, no, 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 she accepted it. She said, no, she said, she said she accepts it, yeah? Okay. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you, sister. Look, Wallahi. How old are you? How old are you? 17. You're still young. Mashallah. Are you, are you a Reva or are you born Muslim? Don't take it as a negative. Pardon? Are you born Muslim or Reva? I'm born Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Look, sister, let me tell you something. Yeah? The reason I'm saying this, yeah, and sometimes I'm a little bit harsh. You know why, sister? Because at the end of the day, I want the best for you. If this was my own sister, if this was my own sister, yeah? Brother, one second. Filipino Ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him. Sister, if you was my own sister, I would do the same. You know why? Because I want the best for you. If, because what, our conversation is not just here 30 people. Millions are going to watch this. And imagine a sister at home who's watching this and going, well, hold on a second. I need to make these points so the sister at home or the brother, number one, the brother knows his duties that he's a maintainer and protector. He should never run away when his wife's in danger. Yeah? Is the same way we're saying, we just want consistency. If I'm willing to put my life on the line and die for you, my wife, when I come home and I want intimacy, man, I want a mere intimacy, bro. I'm dying at one. I'm gonna, can you imagine me? I'm dying at one. The other one is, oh, I choose, I just don't want to give you it. One is an option. The other one is, I have no choice but to put my life on the line and I might die. I'm willing to die for you and you're not willing to give me intimacy. La ilaha illallah. How, what, what kind of oppression is that? The different, the main key, key difference is life and the loss of life and your nature. Which one's worse? Dying or, or not dying? Are you afraid of death? Yes, I'm very afraid of death. 
Why? She very afraid. Why? Well, we are. There's a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Aisha the Anha. She, she even said, I'm afraid of death as well. But that doesn't mean you, you don't uh, want to meet Allah. We're all deaf because I don't know what death entails. Inshallah, I'll go Jannah. I'm scared. You know, may Allah accept him. What if he doesn't accept my deeds? What if I'm a sinner? Of course, I'm going to be scared. I mean, you're talking to someone who's not scared of death. Alhamdulillah, may, inshallah, may Allah increase my iman like yours. This is why, like, maybe I'm, perhaps I'm having a difficulty. There's a mental block between your example of dying and protecting. No, 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 no. Okay, you're saying, please, one second. Just to check this out, yeah? If, I, if, if a man dies for his wife, in about a couple of months or years, she's going to move on with another man. No, 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 one second. The point is, in one scenario, the man dies. Janazah, you know, Janazah Salah, it's finished, yeah, and I do Janazah, make dua for him. In the other scenario, the woman is just choosing not to give intimacy for what reason? A valid reason is understandable. I'm on my menses, I'm heavily pregnant, I've got backache, I'm not feeling well, I've been looking after the kids, understandable. Which animal will go and say, no, you have to? No. What I'm seeing is this is an unreasonable woman. And guess what? Do you know what this hadith shows? It shows that the woman is the transgressor and using sex uh, to blackmail the uh, husband. That's what she's doing. So I don't know how, how the hadith is made to seem as if the man is wrong. This is showing how a woman is transgressing. I'm not saying man is wrong. I didn't say that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying, saying this is showing that the woman is the one who's saying no for no reason. I and it, I thought we moved on from the point that we're both victimizing each other. I thought we made clear no, no, that. No, no, no. We made it clear that what the hadith said, we accepted. And you accepted it as well. I've always accepted the hadith. I was just arguing about the nuances of the hadith. No, no. Why would you argue with you the sister? You can argue something you don't believe in. Do you believe That's in it? I'm do you, to do argue you believe in it? Yeah. I could believe in it, but it doesn't mean no, I. No, no, I, I could believe in it, sister. It's a hadith. It's like. It's you the message of Allah. Hadith. You believe in the hadith. You believe that angels will curse you if you say no. And the man sleeps angry because you don't want to they don't yeah. want to have sex with him. You could believe that, yes. No, 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 you could believe that. Do you believe that? Why does my belief have to? Okay. Yeah, fine, let's say yes. Let's say yes. No, 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 don't say yes, sister. That's between you and the Lord. I've done my bit. I've tried to make you understand. If you want to carry on and reject a hadith of the Prophet, because for some arguing. reason, because a woman, a woman is violating her husband by not giving intimacy. And by the way, the hadith doesn't say, oh man, go and force yourself. He says, no, go to sleep, angry. Okay, can you imagine this? Well, I don't want to say anything else. I'll say, forgive me again, once again. Well, it's because I care about you as my own sister. Sisters, sisters, sister, sister. Just, just, just leave it, please. Just act like somebody's farted. Just like do this, the wind goes away, please, yeah? So, so what I'm saying is this, yeah? The moment, the reason why there's these gender wars happening is because men are not men anymore and women are not women anymore, okay? The, the, the roles have reversed. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell the Ummah, you know how many divorce rates happen amongst Muslim uh, couples? They, they're going the same as non-Muslims. Why, why? why is that? Why is that? Because men are not men, women are not women anymore. Is it, is that, is it because men are not men and women are not yes. women? Or is it because some men and some women are using their femininity or their masculinity in the name of Islam to take advantage of each other. Which one is it? Which okay, one well, is it? Well, well, that, that can be the case as well. Like, for example, a woman can take the, her advantage of her femininity by blackmailing the husband. How? By the hadith that we gave. If the husband says, come, I want to have intimacy with you, and she says no, she's blackmailing him with her femininity. Do you accept that? Yeah. Good. And now a man with his masculinity will come and say no. The Quran and Sunnah said you have to stay at home, shut up, boom. Or whatever it may be, yeah? There's understanding to that, yeah? Do you not think that that is majority, that is the biggest reason why the divorce is happening? No, I'm just saying that could be one part. Of the, I could, I'm saying that could be one point of it. That can. But, but you said that most of it is because women aren't acting like women and men aren't acting like men. No, no I know because why? Because women want to be boss babes, and men want to be simps. Men are happy. Yeah, you go work. I stay at home. That needs to change. But do you not see that now in today's society, men are becoming more, more like women, feminine. Uh, no, not feminine. They're becoming more, let's say, extreme in their beliefs. What, what kind of beliefs? Leadership, being masculine. How, how, could, you, how could you be extreme? Women. Are you talking about toxic masculinity? Yes, toxic No such thing exists. What about toxic what femininity? Look one at, second. Okay, let's, talk, let's talk about the past. No, no, no. No, let's talk, no, one second. Toxic, what's toxic masculinity? It's like being overpowering. Okay, no using problem. Your, your privilege as a man. No, no, one second. Undermine Why don't we have toxic femininity? We do. Why to, no, we, we do don't. No, we don't. We do not. We do not have it. So I'm asking why the double standard? Toxic masculinity. Okay, let's suppose it exists. What is toxic masculinity? You know what toxic masculinity, you know what the, 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 the line is now? Being a man. To be a man. To say, I want to be a traditional man. Toxic masculinity. Huh? A traditional man that imposes on the rights of women. That is toxic. What do you mean by imposes? Can't go. So if he, if he wants, if he wants intimacy from his wife. If you, yeah, no, no, hold on a second. 
Yeah. One second. Does a man have a right to tell his wife that he doesn't want her to uh, not wear lipstick, or he doesn't want her to wear no hijab, or he doesn't want her to wear tight clothes? Is that toxic femininity and masculinity? It's, it becomes toxic if he imposes it. No, no. One second. One second. No, one second. Don't do it. One second. Do it. One second. He is allowed to say that to her. He's allowed to say it, but he's and not and she. Yes, she, yes, he can. And guess what? If a woman, if a man is going out topless, his wife can tell him it's haram for you to show your aura, cover your aura. It is imposed. She has to impose it on him. But, does he but that's okay. But does he listen though? But that's, no, he has to. Because she's now telling us from the Sharia. Yeah, and the woman will listen to the man as well. But you said but that's toxic masculinity. When it's when it's forced. Okay, what do you mean by forced? Like when he says, oh, you're doing that so you can't go out. Or yeah, 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 okay, okay, one second. If, if, if a man says, now when you say force, is he grabbing her by the neck? Is he putting a gun to her head? Is there a knife? What's going on? But any, any, any. Force, force what? If, if he says, if he says. Force for manipulation, we're talking Okay, about. no problem. If he says, if he says to his, uh, his wife, you're wearing red lipstick, it's, I don't like it, I don't want you to wear it. If you do, I will divorce you. Manipulation. That is no problem, no problem, no problem. Is he a right to? He, he does have a right to. Okay, good. Can a woman. He but he has a right to. No, 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 okay. Can a woman now come and say, um, you are sometimes speaking to sisters, mm -hmm. and you're, I don't like it. And if you do, I will seek divorce. Is that does, can she do that? She can do that. Okay, why she is she shouldn't? Why she shouldn't? Why is he speaking to another girl? But what is he talking about? Sisters. He's talking to other sisters. I don't sisters, care if it's sisters. Right? He calls them sisters. Maybe he's trying to move to them. Okay, then. In you know what he's brother start with? I'm if trying to give a dawa. If we're using that assumption, then yes, Come he on. should. He you should. Know, brother, keep a dawa to yourself. Yeah, if we're using that as assumption, then yes, she should. She should threaten. Because we're going on. No, a but that's violating her rights. Because why is he. I mean, if it's a second wife, I mean, it's still a bit peak, but at least there's, things, there's ways to go about it. But if he's continuously talking to like different girls, come on, you're violating her rights. Why are you speaking to other girls? Why are you speaking to other girls? So the thing is here, she has a right to force him in, in, in a specific instance and say, if you carry this on, I will seek divorce. And she will have a right to divorce. You have a right, but it doesn't mean you should do it. What do you mean? Okay, all right, no problem. Um, speak to girls. Um, do what you like. You go out in miniskirts, uh, bikini, no, in no Islam, problem. In Islam, you have the right to drink alcohol. If you want, you have the right. Go, go on. But you are being haram. You're being haram. No, no, but as, uh, look, we are, we are the leaders and we will be responsible. As a, as a, as a human yeah. who believes in Islam. People talking about Islam. People talking about okay, Islam. then you don't have that right then. What do you mean but I don't have that right? Of course nuances. I have that right. There are nuances. No, no, there isn't. I have a right to tell my wife that I don't want to wear lipstick. Okay, yeah. Period. Yeah, you can do that. No, no, I can't do that. I will do that. That's what I'm saying, though. That's the point. Do I become toxic masculine now? Am I, am I a misogynist now? Am I, no, of course I'm not going to go, hey, don't worry, a man's going to shank you up. I'm going to say, look, you know, in a romantic way, you know, maybe give a little flower there, little, you know, I'm going to make lasagna today. No, I'm joking. You, you be reasonable. Come on, I'm not saying go like, you know what, look, I don't like you wearing that. Okay, appreciate it because I love you, you're my wife. I don't want next man looking at you. Because you're going to reason. I'm not going to go and be like, no, you're not wearing it. Come on, let's do There's a way of delivering it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And it's the same with the. I'm saying there's a way of delivering it. No, that, I know, but he has a right to say that. And a woman has just a, said that. Okay, that good, good. Okay, okay, okay. We agree, So, and the woman has a right to say, I don't appreciate that you are messaging these girls. Yes. Yes. That, that's, that's it. No that's problem. So, so, we're on the same page. Yeah. Good. What are we arguing over? I, you, you tell me. Are we on the same page? You tell me. Alhamdulillah. That's all I'm saying. You, in your mind, you thought you, or you think that I don't accept some part of Islam or Hadith. Well, it was when we first started when you said about I the angels accept, cursing. I accepted it. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I have to completely take it in. It doesn't mean... You I have to completely take it. Full. Allah says in the Quran when Allah... No. Allah says in the Quran Allah says in the Quran when Allah and His Messenger decide something it is not for the believer to... Oh. No, 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 no. Did He say it? Like, like Abu Bakr Adina. Why is he known as a Siddiq? Because the Quraysh came to, came to him and said you know your, your, your companion, the Prophet he said he flew to Jerusalem. Bro, look at this, well, light is so deep. He goes to, you know what he said to them, Aki? He goes, did he say that? He goes, yeah, I believe it. That's how we should be. Anyway, sister, may Allah bless you. You're still young, you're 17, yeah? All I'm saying is, the rights Islam has given you, keep to that, because that's the best thing you have. No feminism, red pill, none of this stuff is going to give you, to the men and to the women, there's nothing they're going to offer that Allah and His Messenger hasn't. The moment we stick to that, which we have, alhamdulillah, may Allah bless you, we would prosper. The moment we start doubting and be like, that doesn't make sense to me, is where we're going to go into avenues where it can even leave us to kufr. May Allah bless you again. Forgive me if I came a bit passionate. I get a bit excited sometimes. Forgive me. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it. That's all I want to say, inshallah. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Yeah? I need to pray, assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.